Hey there! Today we're going to look at one of my personal pens. I've already done one of my, my personal pen videos on this, but I realized that I hadn't done a full review on this pen, which is rather strange, um, but sometimes that happens because I've had this pen for a while. We're talking about this fine piece of work, the Classic Pens LM1. Okay, it is the flame red finish, and it is rather nice. So, a very quick rundown of this pen. Limited edition, there were 500 of these. This happens to be number 311 of 500, so it is limited, but it's not a, not a super limited edition. It sounded like there was more kind of, there wasn't anything else. It's not a super limited edition, full stop, pause. It is made of diffusion bonded acrylic, and of all the diffusion bonded acrylics, I like the red best. There is also green and white and blue and, 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 uh, and other colors, brown. Brown is very nice too, but the red, there is something special about this red. Look at it. Look at it. It's magnificent, and that's why I love it. Now, unlike the LB5, which I have reviewed a while ago, um, it's a bit smaller, but unlike the LB5, this has a standard Bok nib, so don't expect any cross points or other weird sailor nibs, it's a very simple Bok number 6 nib, nothing wrong with that, I'll show you that in a sec, um, quite nice. So, I'm going to cover the parts of the pen, I'll do a writing sample, I'll tell you what I like about it and what I don't like about it. Let's get started. Okay, so let's look at the Classic Pens LM1 in flame red. The box. I don't have any more. Had to get rid of it when we moved overseas. Um, but a fairly plain box. So uh, I, I think they have changed their, their boxes now, but it used to be a fairly simple box. I don't mind that. I, I, I like pens. I don't like giant boxes. So, so, so I can't show you that, but it's, uh, it's, it's nice enough. I'm sure there are pictures online somewhere. Um, what we need to see is the parts of the pen. Okay, so what have we got? Top of the pen, the finial, same material as the pen uh, cap and barrel. Then we have the clip, the uh, classic pens or Lambro pens. Uh, many of them have this, this shape. It always reminds me a bit of a, a neck tie, uh, but I, I, I like it. It's, 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 a, it's a, a neat shape, I think. Um, just just nicely, nicely shaped. Works well. Not too tight, so you can really use that to put it in a in a pocket or something, although it is not the world's smallest pen. And upon that note, let me show you Alami Safari. So this this is not not a, uh, a small pen, right? So maybe a breast pocket is not the wisest choice. We have a center band, and there's quite a lot going on there. I'll try to get, bring it a bit closer. There is the Classic Pens logo, number of the pen, 311 out of 500. And it says classic, it says LM1 in a sort of scripty bit of writing. And then it says flame red, because these came in a bunch of colors, but for me, as I said, the flame red diffusion bonded acrylic is just gorgeous. I, I, I love it. A barrel, slightly cigar shaped, it's a bit wider in the middle, it tapers down. Nice gold ring here. I think those gold rings make for a nice balance, so you have gold center band and gold ring again. This end cap relatively long, I, I find, and I, I like that. I, I really like the size of this pen, and I'm just twirling this a bit to really show off that, that beautiful red, deep red material. And the fun thing is, I mean, cameras may or may not pick it up very well, but every one I, I, I give these pens to to try out, either this or the, uh, the LB5, everyone says, wow, that is an impressive material. And it, it's, it's really nice. It's, it's, it's a really beautiful, deep red color. I can't emphasize that enough. Okay, open up the pen by unscrewing it, and then of course, unfortunately, we don't have a matching section. That would that would make this pen so superb, but we just have a black section, and then we have a Bok number no. 6 nib. This happens to be the uh, stub. These were available fine, medium, broad, and stub. It's an 18k nib. It has the classic pens logo on it, uh, and I, I like this simple uh, two-tone design quite a lot. Uh, there's there's not a whole lot going on in the nib, but I like that. It's it's nice and simple. Through the kindness of a viewer, I actually have two nibs for this pen. He sent me uh, a broad uh, nib. He has the same model 
he didn't really use the broad nib, so he sent it to me. Uh, that is a round broad and very nice. It's a very wide uh, line. It's a very thick broad, so that's, that's a lot of fun to use. So um, a very kind thank you to Kyle for, for sending that to me. I, I, I really exchange both nibs uh, quite a lot. A pen is cartridge converter uh, filled, so very simple. It comes with this uh, converter. Um, don't expect too much of it. It's a converter, um, but it works very well. And that's kind of all I can say. Uh, I, I do really love looking at this. Even the inside, it's just so much fun. The material is so pretty. So there is all of that. And I think what is uh, rather important for us is to see how the pen writes. So I'm grabbing some paper. Sorry, I forgot to turn the page after the previous review. Forgive me for taking a sec there. Let's see how it writes. So what we have here is the classic pens LM1 uh, in the flame red. The nib is an 18K stub. I think they're officially labeled stubs and not italics. The ink is the fabulous Montblanc corn poppy red, which is almost invariably in this pen and in the LB5. Okay, writing. Writing is smooth. And this is a lovely stub because it's round enough to not get snagged on the paper and yet you get this uh, very nice line variation really quite nice I think as to wetness I'll come back to that later but pretty wet as you can see uh, line variation it's not a flexing nib it's uh, I find it on the stiffer side and that's perfectly fine because it is an italic or at least a stub I should say nib so there's natural line variation. Anyway, um, what I will say about this nib is that it is in fact a fun nib, even for, and this was very fast, but for some minor calligraphic uh, purposes, which I think is rather nice. And the final thing I should show you is the reverse writing. Well, it is a stub, so that doesn't really work that well. Maybe more success with the, uh, with the broad nib. So, there you have it, the pen and how it writes. I think the next thing we need to do is listen to what I like about it and what I don't like about it. Let's do that. Okay, so what do I like and what do I not like about the LM1? I got it from Sarge at the Madrid pen show, great, great pen show, um, and there's a lot of things I really like about it. Um, First of all, the material. I think I've, I've stressed that enough now, but the material, this material is stunning. So I really love that. I like the size of the pen. It's a good size, it's by no means small, but it is smaller than, say, an LB5. Right? The LB5 really is quite a bit bigger. So you notice that. It also has a bit more girth, the LB5. Okay. Um, what else did I want to say? So yeah, so so I think this is a bit more. It can be used by a bit more people uh, than the LB5, which which is rather big. The pen writes wetly, writes juicily, but it does run dry. After a good page or something, I have found that the nib starts to run dry and then stops writing. Not an uncommon problem. Uh, that is probably an issue with the air exchange. Uh, I will probably have a nib master fix that at some point. Feet is also quite open, so uh, it's 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 a quite quite an open construction. Uh, nib meisters can fix that, but of course, if it comes to a pen like this, you would want it to write indefinitely and not not have issues with the air exchange. So that is definitely a, a bigger downside, uh, and I've heard that from from other people that there's uh, do that too. So that is something I would like to see fixed in the future. There are no Sailor specialty nibs on this pen, so if you've seen my review of the LB5, mine has a, a, a Sailor cross point, 
It's basically two nibs welded on top of each other, which is very cool, super wide line. This is just fine, medium, broad and stub. Not necessarily an issue because, to be honest, everyday writing with the RB5, is, unless you have big handwriting, is almost impossible. So it's not necessarily a bad thing, but it would be nice if you had some cool nib option on these pens too, I think. The final thing I wanted to say was they're not cheap. Uh, $500, I think is what I paid. They're not cheap. They are limited edition, diffusion bond acrylic, which is not necessarily pretty special, but it is a very pretty material. I had I mentioned that? Yeah, it's a very pretty material. Um, it is a limited edition, but of course, yeah, at the end of the day, it's an acrylic pen and a cartridge converter. So whether that's really worth it to you, that's a whole different matter. The bottom line, I love it. I think it's a great size. It writes super pleasantly. The drying out, that is an issue. I prime the feet a little bit when that happens with some, uh, just by operating the converter and it starts to write straight away again. But it is a nuisance and it should be fixed, it shouldn't be there in the first place. Having said all that, I really love it. That's why it's in my personal collection. Okay, I hope this was useful and I'm glad to see you later. Bye bye. Bye.